great shot is so much better than 30 good shots. You got that? So the trick today is take a great shot. Dr. Drew Crane, I'm an associate professor of biology at Maryville College, and I'm teaching a January course called Wildlife Photography. It's a three-week course. Uh, pretty much I've got 11 students that we are in Cades Cove or Tremont or some other place in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park every single day. Uh, pretty much all day, sometimes different times of the day for different lighting conditions. And the goal of the course is to get these students who are not science majors, any major on campus, to figure out how can I take a great wildlife photograph. Um, my premise is pretty much everybody can take a good wildlife photograph. After you learn how to use your camera, you can focus in on the animal and everything like that. But the, the challenge is to set the photo up so that you can get a great a great photograph. That has to do with lighting, it has to do with color contrast, it has to do most off, and that's what I've been emphasizing most mostly is knowing the animal, being able to anticipate the behaviors of the animal, and then snap that shutter whenever that behavior is fully expressed. Um, so that's what we're doing here. Uh, beautiful day today. We've had different lighting conditions. Today is absolutely gorgeous, sunshine. Uh, we've had cloudy overcast, and in, on overcast days we do a little different strategy. We head to the woods, we try to get some animal that's against the snow or something like that, but today we've got uh, one of those beautiful days in paradise. What about that? Chris? <laughs> right in mid jump. Oh, very nice. Very nice. A little shadow on the eye, though. I should have been writing it. <laughs> I should have been on it. Yeah, there's a shadow on the eye. Like, the the yeah, the way the sun was. Oh, that's Steven right there. I'm uh, Will Pogue. I'm a junior at Maryville College and I'm a history major and we were taking pictures of this buck that Rachel saw across the road and we walked up in the woods a little ways and he bedded down in a blowdown right here above us and when he bedded down we gave him a little bit and walked up and took a couple pictures and they were, they were I thought they were alright, the ones that I was taking. And then he got up and moved a little bit further down in the woods and that's when I got some really good ones. But just letting him letting him get set up and then we kind of use the lighting to our advantage. That's I like that. Humorous. I got that same picture, but mine is like that. Right here. It's like snow, but it's not.